This is going to be a tough critique for you to hear, but my quail was raw. Inedible. If I was in a restaurant, I would have sent it back. My dish, the thing that I was responsible for, is going to be the thing that sends us home. When the plate was served in front of me, I was disappointed of the size of my quail. But you were lucky because my quail was so small that it was cooked through. And it was a gorgeous dish. You're lucky that I got probably one of the three quails that were cooked around the table. And I thought it was a really good dish, but I'm a bit in shock as how I'm only one of three who probably got cooked quail. There were inconsistencies around the table, but I had the worst dish out of everybody. The score I'm giving you for your entree tonight is a one. A one. To serve a raw quail and get a one. I, I never thought that that would happen. I thought it was a brilliant dish to start with. The score I'm giving you for your quail is a 10. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anyone in the history of MKR you know, one and a ten in the same course from the judges. This is mental. Mark and Lauren, for your entree, I score you an eight. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Mark and Lauren, for main course, you served us a scotch fillet and pepperonata. The steak was so tender, so juicy, well seasoned. The pepperonata was gorgeous, good job on that. The capsicum were well stewed together, capers and all. It was just beautifully seasoned. The steak, mine was a little overcooked. Which, the saving grace for you, it's, it was a high score marble piece of beef and it's still juicy and it's still yummy and still melting in the mouth. My steak was cooked well. It was cooked the way I like it. You guys are on form on your presentation. For your main course tonight, I score you a nine. The score I'm giving you for your main course is a seven. The score I'm giving you for your main course, and I'm happy to give you this score after the entree, is a nine. <gasps> oh, thank wow. God. Mark and Lauren, we finished your three course meal with a peach tatatan. Oh gosh, here we go. Your peach tartatan, I thought was absolutely spot on. Those peaches were roasted and caramelised so beautifully that they were the star of that dish. The pastry, beautiful on the outside. I would have liked it just a little bit more crispy or crunchier, just on the middle of that base. You were so close to having a perfect tartatan, like so close. I think it was a good dish. A few little technical errors, but overall, I think it, it, it was a quality dish. I'm the king of tatin. Like, if I can say so myself, it's one of my favorite desserts. My mom taught me how to make tatin since I was a little boy. And it's an amazing dessert, and it'll never get old, ever. I think your dessert, a bit too heavy on the caramel with the fruit ratio. But apart from that, it was amazing. All right. Phew. The score I'm giving you for your dessert is an eight. The score I'm giving you for your dessert is an eight. For your dessert tonight, I score you an eight. Kerry, can you please reveal the score that you have given Mark and Lauren? Mark and Lauren, we give you a total score of six. And Sophia from House Manu? Mark and Lauren, we score you tonight a six. That gives you a grand total score of 80. <laughs> Congratulations, Mark and Lauren. 
You have the highest score tonight. And you have secured your place in the competition once again. I told you. I told you that we are the greatest. That means, unfortunately, Suan and Sofia, you have been eliminated from My Kitchen Rules. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck, everyone. Nothing I can say to beat that. <laughs> I won already. Yeah. <laughs>